Well, welcome to um, this week's session. We're going to be talking about crushing procrastination and creating a real inner fire. And uh, it's an exciting session today. It's one of my favorites. Today, we're going to we're going to hack the neurology um, by a really simple and easy process, but it's very, very, very cool. Because let me ask you this question. The brain moves away from what and towards what? Simple question, isn't it? Moves away from pain and towards pleasure. And so one of the things that we're going to do and one of the things that we want to do is we want to sometimes go into the negative consequences so the brain can actually see the end result of its behavior. Does that make sense? Because sometimes uh, our brains can't see. And so what's really interesting, guys, is a lot of people will smoke cigarettes or eat the wrong food or, you know, do certain things that are obvious that they're doing the wrong thing. But but why is that? That's the reason is, is they're not associating to the end result of that behavior. Can you type in a yes if that makes sense? Can you let me know if that's if that's yeah. So thank you. Thank you. So, so what happens is, is they're just doing it now. But the pain isn't now. In fact, it's pleasurable now. And so our brain takes the path of least resistance, right? So if it's pleasurable now, our brain goes, what's well, pleasurable now? I don't see any pain in it. And, you know, I don't know if that negative consequence will happen or not. So I'm just going to enjoy, enjoy the now. And this can really cause some challenges because especially when it comes to doing things you don't want to do. For example, there might be cold calls you need to do. There might be things that you need to go and do, but because there is perceived present pain now, and it's more pleasurable to sit on the couch, eat Doritos and watch Netflix, then you're going to sit around, chill out, eat the wrong food and do, do a behavior that's not going to get you to where you want. Does that make sense? And so what we have to realize is that sometimes, not always, but sometimes, going into the negative consequence and allowing our body to actually experience the negative consequences of inaction. I'll say that again, the negative consequences of inaction, because you guys all know that inaction is still an action, right? However, the inaction will lead you to a certain end result. And action will lead you to a certain end result, but also to experience the pain of certain actions. And what this does is it gives us a bit of a shock. It gives us a dose. It brings the future to now so we can go, wow, that is actually painful. And you'll start to see that you shift and move into the positive. Okay. Yeah. And, and action is an action. There's no such thing as inaction, right, David? There isn't. Even doing nothing is still something, you know, not doing the cold call is doing nothing, doing something else, right? It's still an action. And all actions in this 3D reality lead to certain end results, right? And so it's, it's important that we, uh, that we go through this one today. Okay, cool, cool. So here's how today's process works. I first get you to close your eyes and I get you to choose with all your strength to not change and decide that you're not going to do the meditations. You're going to stay exactly the same. And I have you choose that. And then what we do is we walk you out into the future and you experience what life will be like making those choices. Now, my question to you is, do you want to get a really big result from this program? Yeah, you do. That means you need to go full out, full out with showing your body and showing your brain the consequences of not changing. Okay. And so it's a weird one today. But when you do it, you will then see where that will end up. That's the first half of the meditation. We then bring you back to now, and then we make the choice of actually changing. 
and actually following through. And then that leads you to a different. Yeah, I like it, Michelle. That would lead you to a different end result. And that's how we finish. You're going to leave motivated. You're going to leave ready to take huge action. And you're going to not really be able to procrastinate anymore. So this is a pretty big exercise. So I'm not going to do much more of a preamble. So you need to get yourself ready. So if you're driving, it's uh, this isn't going to be a great one for you because we're going to be doing lots of closed eyes. But if you're, if you're there at your desk or if you've got other people around, you're going to want to just go to a quiet place to do this. So I don't know if right now I'm sitting on your bench top while you're cooking dinner and uh, or, or if I'm balancing carefully on your pillow while Netflix is behind you. I don't know where I am. I might be sitting on the, uh, the lid of the toilet while you're in a bath. Now, that would be all right. But wherever I'm sitting right now, <laughs> just make sure you take me pick me up and take me uh, away um to to a place a place where it's cool to do a, uh, an awesome meditation okay and just go ahead and type in a yes so that i know that you're ready i'm looking at all the names here that are live on zoom and just give me a yes when you are ready hey rochelle see rochelle's just jumped on Have an awesome day. Love you, Hannah. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like you guys are all ready. Awesome. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Close your eyes. Just go ahead and close your eyes and just settle into the moment. And as you settle in, I just want you to think about all the dreams and aspirations and desires that you have as you just, just feel into your body for a second. And I just want you to, as you think about all of them, just look back to your past and, and just notice in your past how many times you've put things off. Just notice how many times you've given yourself excuses and notice how many times you've, you haven't followed through. And just for a second, just look at all of those times. Just, just notice, notice a few, at least two, if not three, maybe even four. And now I want you to go ahead for a minute and come back to now. And I want you to, to decide to doubt yourself. I want you to decide to make up an excuse. I want you to, to decide that you're not going to follow through. I want you to decide that you're going to play small. And I want you to notice as you make that decision, a part of you is happy about that. Part of you is like, man, it's just who I am. And as you decide to basically play it small, Notice how it feels. And go ahead and walk into your future three months from today. You wake up in the morning. You walk into the bathroom and you put your hands down on the bathroom sink and you look at yourself right in the eye. Three months from today, not following through. And I want you just to go ahead and connect with yourself for a second. What do you say to yourself three months from now, having not followed through, having stayed playing small, having not done what you said you were going to do? And just notice how that feels. What's it like to be that person? How do you look? What's life like? Teach your body what it is that it will feel like if you were to be this person as you keep continuing out. Stay on this same place and go out a year from today. It's the end of February 2020. Right now, and you decided a year ago just to not follow through. You decided to play it small. You decided to keep it safe. And I want you to feel it in your body and feel it and notice what it's like to be that person. What's your life like now? Imagine you're walking along the street. 
It's a dark day. You're walking along the street and you catch your reflection in a glass window. What is it like a year from today not following through? How do you look? How do you feel? What's not in your life that you thought would be? How old are you? Imagine what that feels like right now to be the person that just didn't follow through, that just stayed the same. Let's really take this out three years from today, 2022. I want you to feel it. I want you to feel three years of not following through, three years of doubt, three years of sabotage, three years staying the same. What's life like 2022 for that version of you? Can you feel it in your body? Teach your body what it feels like. Show yourself what it will be like. Play full out on this. You're scrolling Facebook. You look down on Facebook and you've got one of those memories. It says three years ago and you've tagged me in it. And you know you haven't got anywhere. Three years ago, you're all excited. And now look. What do you say to yourself? What have you not been able to achieve? Teach your body what it's like to be a procrastinator. Teach your body what it's like to not follow through. Teach your body what it's like to stay scared, to stay small. Just teach it so it knows what this, is, this option is like. As we move right out, we're going to go right out. 10 years from today, 2029. You became a person that didn't follow through. You're a procrastinator. You played small. You stayed safe. What's life like? What did you not go for? How does it feel? Teach your body. How does it feel to be this person? You know you've put things off before. You can put this off. How do you look? How do you feel? What do you say to yourself? And my question for you all the way out here in 2029, keeping your eyes closed, my question to you, is this the future you you desire to create? Yes or no? Is this the future you? Because it's yours. It's yours if you want it. This is the easy choice. This is the choice that puts it off. This is the choice that eats the wrong food. This is the choice that doesn't take the action. This is that choice that puts off their meditations. This is the choice. It's your call. Now, I'm assuming the answer is no. And if it is, state yourself a firm no. This isn't the choice as you float back from then all the way back to now and looking at all the things that could happen if you become that identity and that person. Float all the way back to the three-year version of you, back to the one-year version of you, the three-month version of you, all the way back to today. And now that you're back here in the room, you can shake that one off a little bit. And as you sit there with your eyes closed, I want you to make a firm decision to be somebody that's going to change, somebody that's shifting today. Somebody that's going to follow through now. And I want you to make that decision internally now to be the new version of you right now. What does it feel like to be somebody that follows through? What does it feel like to be the person making the money? What does it feel like to be that version of you right now? Make the decision and allow yourself to feel it in this new energy, this new determination, this new you. And let's step forward into your new story. And as you step forward, can you feel it in your body? What do you say to yourself with this version as you go and walk into your future three months from now? It's three months from today. You're out in the future. 
You wake up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror, you bounce out of bed, you look at yourself in the mirror, in your bathroom in the morning. What do you say to yourself three months from now? How proud are you of you? How does it feel to be a person that follows through? What have you achieved? What's your life like? How does it feel? Put a smile on your face because I know it feels great to be somebody that says they do things and follows through, that decides to change, that becomes someone new. It feels great, doesn't it? And allow yourself to feel great about this decision because it's so much better than the other one. As you move forward a year from now, you're walking along the street. Notice how you walk in this reality. reality. Notice how you stand as you see yourself and catch yourself in a reflection of a glass window. What clothes are you wearing? What have you done in one year? How do you feel? Notice what your life is like being this person. What have you been able to create in just one year? Who have you been able to impact in just one year? Who's in your life now? Who have you been able to make proud in just one year? Feel it. Own it. What do you say to yourself in this reality? Say that nice and loud in your head as we step forward into three years from today. Three years since we sat here and made this decision. Step into that reality and notice what's life like. In three years, what have you been able to create? In three years, who have you become? You're scrolling Facebook and you're, pe you're pinned in a post by me. You're tagged. And there it is. Notice how it feels to remember back to three years and you decide to be this new version of you. What do you wear as this new version of you? Who are your friends? What do you do? What have you created? And how does it feel? Allow yourself to fully step into the three-year version of you and feel it. Really feel it. Where in your body do you feel this the most? Breathe into this and know that this is you. What do you say to yourself? What's the talk track going in your head? You committed, you stepped up, you did what you said you were going to do, and you became the person that you wanted to be, and that's you now. How does it feel to be that person? That's right. Doesn't it feel good? Let's go ahead and triple this as we go out 10 years. You're walking into your new home. 10 years from now being this person, you walk into your new home. You open the big door. What's life like now? What's in this home? Who's in this home? What pictures are on the wall and how does it feel? Notice how it feels 10 years from now, 10 years of being someone who follows through, 10 years of being someone who absolutely does what they say. How have you made your family proud? How have you made you proud? What have you been able to achieve? How does it feel to be that? Notice everything and how it feels to be this version of you in this reality. In your house, you have a floor to ceiling mirror. Connect with it for a second. Look at your reflection. How do you stand 10 years from now being this person? How do you look? How do you smile? Being this person 10 years from now, what message do you have for the person sitting back doing this meditation? Send that message through the mirror and all the way back. Once you've got the message, or if you're ready, knowing you, that you're this person, you can open your eyes, come back into your body and back here, 2019, you're back. How is that?
Good. Empowering. Good. <laughs> Tears. That's okay. Tears are okay. How was that? Type in. Let me know. Very powerful. Oh, hey. Hey, Michael. <laughs> when did you jump on? Good to see you, man. So glad you're here. Awesome. Hey, Rochelle. Rochelle. You are there internally. Joanne says, I want to be there now. You are there. You've just got to be there internally. Then let it manifest. The seed is already the forest. Feels magnetized. So awesome. I welled up. Nice. Yeah, a couple of you have been crying. Yeah. Seeds planted. That's it. The decision is made. How are you guys feeling? I haven't heard from a few of you. Please type in. Please let me know that you're feeling good. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to teach your body the consequences of certain actions. Does that make sense? Who likes this meditation, by the way? Who gets fired up? Is it just me? <laughs> yeah, I love it too. I love it too. If you guys want to see, um, if you want to type into other people, you have to just tick the, the little box to say all, all attendees. Oh, right, you're just sending it to me. But it's up to you. Don't have to. Yeah, you love it. Good. This is a brilliant meditation. Notice that you can't procrastinate now. Try putting something off. Cool. I haven't heard from a few of you. I'd love to. Please type in, or at least if you're on your phone, give me a thumbs up thing so I know that you're alive. Cool. Yep, it was good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> good, good, good. It is very important for us sometimes if we're feeling resistance to something is to go into it. Whatever you resist will persist. But if you go into it, and experience the consequences of that inaction, which is what procrastination is actually an action. It's a choice. And you see where you're going to end up. That's enough to jolt your neurology. Type in a yes if you guys will get that. Just let me know. It jolts your neurology back. You see? Because sometimes we just need that. Sometimes we're, we're BSing ourselves and we're eating the wrong food or we're putting things off or we're not going to the gym. We just need to go, what would life be like if I stay like that? Because you know, but because the feeling isn't for a very long time, that negative feeling isn't for 10, 20, 30, 50, whatever years, it's cool. Remember, in the universe, we take the path of least resistance, right? So if least resistance says sit at home and you know eat the wrong food and watch Netflix, cool. If the path of least resistance is, uh, you know, don't make the cold calls. And this is this is a really big thing is we are supposed to, you know, take the path of least resistance. We're supposed to be in bliss. We're supposed to be in joy. We're supposed to be in all of these things. But it's it's so crucial because I hear a lot about, you know, follow your bliss, follow your excitement, follow your this, follow your that. Yep, that's all good. But um but, but honestly, sometimes you have to make a cold call or you have to do your taxes, right? And so following your bliss and following your excitement, I'm never excited about some of those things. Does that make sense? I'm not going to be excited about them. But when I look at the, when I, when I look at not doing them, <laughs> when I look at not doing them and where that will take me, well, then makes me pretty excited to do them. Who's with me? Right. And I go, well, if I don't do them, I'm going to end up in jail. <laughs> you know, well, I better do it then. You know what I mean? Or if I don't do it, I'm going to end up broke. Well, now I can be excited about doing it because it gives me contrast. But if my choices are don't do it, sit on the couch and I'm cool versus do it. And it's kind of annoying and lots of paperwork. I can't I can't choose to follow my excitement. Does that make sense? So. This week, I wanted to just really make it practical, okay? And this meditation is uh, called Inner Fire. And, and what I want you to use it for this week is I want you to teach your body to not be a procrastinator, 
and, and I'll finish off my story. So I can't procrastinate. It's like, um, it's like a skill I don't have anymore. And someone asked me the other day, Chris, like, how do you keep going and going and going and going? How is that true? And I said, oh, I don't know. And I thought back to when I first got taught this process and it's that it's so painful to me to put things off. Now, that's just a cool structure. In my opinion, that's just a cool structure. Not saying that you want to do that, but it's who's with me. That's a cool structure to have. If I want to do something that's going to lead to a result I want, I do it. I don't really have an ability to put stuff off. In fact, I typically put too much on. Does that make sense? And so this week, in, in order for you to, to shift even more into the new way of being, I wanted to give you a way to feel into your sabotage pattern and use your own body chemistry against itself. Type in yes if that makes sense. Let me really know if this, you get it. You use its chemistry. Your body doesn't like pain. It's not going to stay there. And so let me just make sure we, we're clear with this. Does everything that you think about manifest? Yes or no? <laughs> Do thoughts manifest in the world? <laughs> they definitely don't. Not all thoughts, right? I mean, we'd be in a big problem if we lived anywhere near a uh, high school with 15-year-old boys. <laughs> I've been one. I know. We do not want their thoughts just manifesting. So sometimes I have people say to me, Chris, but everything I think about is going to manifest. I say, no, it's not really. I've thought like right now, billion dollars is on my desk, right? So you, it's okay to, to go into this and to feel into the negative. And because a real objection that people have about this, they say, I don't want to feel into the negative. And it's just, it's a little bit misguided is you don't get what you think about. You get it. You get who you are. And so it's okay to go into it. And then you go into the positive and choose who you're being. Does that make sense? That's the key because you don't get what you think about. You don't even get what you feel. You get who you get what you are. And if you are an abundant, loving, caring, freedom, if that if that's what you what you is, if that is your identity, that is what's going to show up. So this is a great process for you all to use. You go into you go into the option that you're um you go into the option that you're actually choosing. Okay, the one that you're actually choosing when you think it's putting it off. You actually say, well, what would life be like if I continue down this path? And then your body will flip out of it and you end up like this because you'll flip out of it. You'll go, wow, that's actually what, I, what life will end up like. And then I can come back and I can go, okay, great. Do I actually want to continue down that path? Yes or no? If it's a yes, great. If it's a no, then awesome. What do I want to do this? And then you go out and experience that. And what you've done is you're just, you're literally hijacking your own systems. You're hijacking your own systems and it cannot. Um, your body will not function towards negative. It just won't. It's not how we're wired. A negative emotion is five times more powerful than a positive emotion. It's registered five times more in the brain, more energy, more everything, five times more. So when you do this, you're really putting a, putting a stopper somewhere. Now, we're not creating an away from here. Some people say to me, Chris, but isn't this just creating away from? No, you're not. You're going into something away from meaning I don't want to be broke, so I'm going to get motivated. You're not actually doing that. You're going into it as a choice, and you're fully experiencing it as a choice, going, wow, I could totally have this if I wanted. And then you're saying, do I want that? No. And you're going this way. So it's, it's different to all of those.